Welcome back fairies and nerds. Um, I'm super excited to show you this video of the next um, piece in my Hogwarts Punk series. But when I went to edit the video, I discovered that the recording was plagued by all sorts of technical difficulties of which I was unaware at the time. Um, apparently my screen recorder for some reason likes to act like it's recording a static screen when in fact I am painting so unfortunately um I'd say you miss like at least 50% of the whole painting process um and I was I'm really bummed by that because um I was super excited about this video because this piece is my favorite of the series. I haven't even done the fourth painting yet, and this one is my favorite. This is Slither Riot. She is the representative of Slytherin House at Hogwarts. Um, and she was my favorite, I mean, she was my favorite sketch I did initially. She was or she is my favorite pose. Um, just, it just, I'm really happy with the way the piece turned out overall. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to share this video with you guys and show, you know, how she went from sketch to finished product. And the technology gods were against me. Um, as you may have noticed, um, it started in already pretty far into the video so you missed um my laying down the flat colors uh, at the beginning and you missed a lot of shading and stuff like that at the end but I'm going to power through and talk about it anyway because like I said she's my favorite of the series I just am really happy with the way she turned out and I hope you guys like her. Um, one thing that's different for me for this one is the short hair. I normally don't do short hair because the long flowing hair can hide a lot of mistakes. Um, I have done plenty of like full face portraits where I can't get the eyes to look as alike as I would prefer. And so we just cover up one eye with some long flowing hair and nobody has to know. Um, so doing hair this short was a departure for me. Um, I really had to sort of focus on the shape of her head in the initial sketch. Um, because she was profile shot, I didn't have to worry about the eyes looking the same. So I avoided that problem. Um... I just, I really, I really like this piece a lot. Um, it was fun to do because, you know, being Slytherin, you can sort of take it to the limit, as it were. Um, for example, I sort of jokingly also call this piece Concealed Carry. Um, and you probably won't see it in this video, but you'll notice in the finished piece, she carries her wand like up against her body and tucked into the sleeve of her jacket which just seems to me like she's ready to hex a muggle at any given moment which is totally a Slytherin thing to do right I mean you know some of my best friends are Slytherins I think I made that joke before but you know Slytherin I feel like with Slytherin you can go a little bit further because they tend to go a little bit farther. Um, also, something I really like about her is her hair, her green hair, because it reminds me of Pizzazz from Gem and the Holograms. Um, if you did not grow up as a child in the 80s with awesome Saturday morning cartoons like Gem and the Holograms, you are missing out, but it is on Netflix, so you can go check it out. Um, one thing I did that I'm really sad that it doesn't show in the video, um, I decided to give her, like, a snake medallion necklace. 
it ended up looking really good, I think. Um, I did all her jewelry in sort of a bronze gold color, which was weird because the whole time I'm painting it, I'm going, I know this should be silver because she's Slytherin, but at the same time, I almost never do gold colors, so I just went with it, and I was really happy with how it turned out. One part I am not happy with um, are these shoes. I don't know what I was trying to do with these shoes. They're nuts. Shoes and feet are not my best features when drawing. I I don't know. They, they're weird. They're weird things. So they look sort of hoof-like right now. Um, hopefully you'll think they'll improve, they have improved when you see the finished product. There is unfortunately not a whole lot to say. Um, oh yeah, I did give her a cigarette, even though, of course, you know, smoking would be strictly prohibited um, on Hogwarts grounds. One thing I did have to do during this painting was sort of reacclimate. Um, not really intentionally, but I took a lot of time between my last one and this one. Um, and so I had to get used to painting digitally again. It took me, it took me a fair amount of time to get sort of back into the swing of things, but I think, I think I muddled through okay. Um, I just, man, I just really like her. I just like her look. I like the attitude she gives off. You know, she's like, sort of, you want to talk to her, but you don't want to mess with her. She's kind of scary, but also you really just want to be her friend. That's just me. So, there you go. I mean, unfortunately, you don't see a lot of the progress. Um, and, and this video is still fairly long, I feel, for the amount of stuff you don't see. Which is weird because I sped it up like 10 times speed, so I don't know. I'll have to do some investigating into my current technology. Um, and another thing that was weird that my screen recorder did was, like I said, it acted like it was recording a static screen, but you could see my brush moving in Photoshop. So, like, the image never changes, but this little circle just darts around all over the screen, which was super weird, and I, I could not figure it out. I don't know if there was, like, connection issues between my computer and my tablet or what, but it was really weird and very disappointing when I went to edit the video that I had so little to share with you. Um, But regardless, I hope you like the finished piece. Um, I hope you think it is a good addition to the series. I still have one more to go. And I hope to have it done very soon. Um, I've got events where I sell my artwork coming up. And I want to have the full set ready to go for them. So I will be working on that very soon. And we have just about reached the end of the actual work you can see me do and I'm so so disappointed and I hate that you guys don't get to see the process because I find I always find the process really fascinating just to watch um, those flat colors come alive but um, now we have the finished product and I hope I hope I talked it up enough but not too much um, Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the little bell thing, apparently, is now a thing. Um, stay tuned for more speed paint videos. I'm also doing uh, polymer clay videos. You might have noticed one of my more recent videos was a polymer clay make. 
let me know what you think in the comments and hopefully I will figure out the cause of these problems and get to the bottom of them so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time